Welcome, and follow me as a Honor P50, and today I'll show you how we can go to the setup of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with the screen that you can see right over here, and all you need to do is find your desired language from the list. Now I'll be sticking with English, so all I need to do is select Get Started, and I get to choose my region. From there we have Terms of Use, so obviously you need to select that you have read and agreed to them, and then you can progress further. Now next page allows us to pop in a SIM card, and this step is completely optional, and honestly you can pop in that SIM card at the first page where you get to select your language and it really doesn't change much. So the reason it shows up overally uh, throughout the setup process is strictly so you can choose to either pop in your SIM or connect to Wi-Fi and then throughout the setup process you will be able to log into your uh, Google account. Now this phone actually does have Google accounts so there we go. In other circumstances it won't really matter that much. Anyway, I'm going to be skipping it and I also will be skipping connecting to Wi-Fi just because I don't plan to log into Google right now. Which brings me to the next page. Now, if you connect it to any kind of network, either to mobile or Wi-Fi, uh, then date and time will be set automatically. And additionally, you will also have the Google login page, unlike me. So from here, um, no matter what you chose, step before, you have the services, so you have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. And quickly going into all three of these, uh, location is just a GPS tracking, so things like Google Maps can give you an accurate route. Allow scanning allows the device to look for a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth uh, signals, and then sending user and diagnostic data allows Google to spy on you. Couldn't connect. Uh, no, like, obviously not, considering I didn't connect to network, so why is this page here? Skip for now, like it's not the most obvious thing. And then we have date uh, and privacy. Obviously you can select details right here to read exactly what you're agreeing to, but let's be honest, it's not like you can you have any choice here. Uh, you're always gonna be giving away your data just because F you, and that's about as uh, graceful as a company can tell you. And then we have device protection. We can, protection meaning uh, some kind of screen lock, so we can do it by fingerprint, face recognition, or um, actual screen lock. So going into the two first ones, the fingerprint and face recognition, uh, if you want to choose one of those or both of them, uh, you will always be required to set up a password, aka screen lock. And uh, if you plan to only use a screen lock, uh, then you can tap on the stupidly named password and it will give you, <laughs> instead of a password, it will give you a pin because reasons. Anyway, uh, from here you can actually choose it if you want to use something else, so change unlocking method, and you have a choice between four digit pin, custom pin, which is what we have right now, uh, pattern, and password. Now this password right here is an actual password, just so you know. So, I'm gonna go with a pattern, just the kicks. There we go, once I draw it I need to repeat it once again. Done, and this will automatically set it up. Now once it's set, I can now select fingerprint or face recognition or both if I want to use both of them or just select next if I don't feel like using anything else but the screen lock. Enhanced services, uh, obviously we have some bunch of uh, trash right here. So yeah, I'm gonna not even bother reading this, no thanks. Uh, user experience improvement programs, yeah no thanks. Uh, location services, um, allows apps to service such as uh, weather, blah blah blah. Uh, I will select later. If an app needs location services, it usually asks you for them. And from there, you can actually decide if you want to give that app those, uh, this, this permission, because some apps should have zero business with your location. Uh, keep your software up to date. Uh, this is just a enable, uh, enable automatic updates. If you don't want to, uh, the not enable uh, automatic updates is hidden right here in the blue text instead of being an option right here. So there we go. And don't want overnight updates. Uh, overnight software updates uh, make it easier to get the latest features, security tricks, and improvements. Don't enable. Then we have gesture navigation. So this is just a quick guide. By default, the device opts into it. Can select try gestures it will uh, basically guide you through how to use those uh, so you have back gesture then we have uh, recent and home 
Or you can just click right here if you already know them because I'm pretty sure majority of us know them. So if you select finish right now, it will, I believe, set the gesture navigation. But if you want to use something else, you want to tap right here or not. I guess it was the other way around. Though I'm not exactly sure. Use gestures. Which one am I using right now? I guess I'll find out. So by default, this is the default one. Let's select finish and yep. So default is uh, using gestures. If you don't want to use them, you can tap on it. And that finishes up the setup. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.